a failure or an apparent failure set you up for later success? Do you have a favorite failure of yours? Okay, so let's start with the first part of the question. A favorite feeling, my goodness, like, let me make a list. <laughs> Just pick one. Just okay. pick your favorite one. So for me, I feel like I, I used to look at things as failures, and then once I started studying creativity and, and really investing in gaining knowledge about creativity, there, I came across a term called creative chaos. Are you familiar with that? Yes. So the whole idea is whenever you start something new, you're gonna face this thing called creative chaos. And that's when things look like it's just not going to work out, <laughs> right? Like it is chaotic. Like I made this change and I can tell it's not going to work out because all these things are happening and it's not what I expected. Um, but if you move through that creative chaos, that's when you see innovation and change. So, so when I look at my quote unquote failures now, I look at through the lens of creative chaos. Like I try something and, I, and just knowing that I'm going to face that period of creative chaos makes me... Uh, available to keep pushing through. 